So if you can get rid of what the other team's comfortable on and they get an Elsu, that's not even a worst case scenario because as we've seen many times, they may simply not be able to capitalize on that. So worry first about taking away Sleepy Team's strengths, then worry about the game's strengths. That's uh, an admirable tactic and it, it can definitely work as you see in all sorts of tiers of competition. Don't panic about what your opposition are doing. Anticipate it and deal with it. Talianus, Talianus, Murad, Wisp, Elsu. Ah, so Elsu Same band. is done here. Except for that Elsu. The Lindus will come through, completing Nova, banning out all of Z's character pool again. They do not want Z to feel comfortable. What Z does in response may decide if Sleepy Team have a chance in game number two. Let's put Z on the Morin. Let's we'll see that. I don't actually like this, because if they ban Florentino, it's going to be Sephira. Very well could be. And they do pick it up. Sephira's so annoying to play against because of that title light, because she has mobility in that wall of water. She has the stuns, she has the healing, and she has just overall annoyingness, TJ. Yeah, and Omen will come through. This means Richter is still in the cards. He's fallen through the draft game number one. Nova Esports, do they want him game two? Xenial and Timi are locked in for Sleepy. So Timi making appearance on their roster. Mm -hmm. I like that. Definitely yeah. gives them the potential to power farm a sideline should they feel that there are any left they want to play. Do you think that's going to be in place of Crash? Probably in place of Crash? Uh, yeah, Yorn's still here. The Crash can be played sideline. Do you think? Do you think they should go Yorn, Matt? <laughs> oh <laughs> no, because I'm not playing. Uh, Omen and Liliana are in for Nova Esports. Um, Ooh. Yeah, Ooh. this is looking a bit dangerous. I like this oh. actually, but I know Daniel will <laughs> I, hate it. I hate Here we Slims. Go. <laughs> you hate Slims with a passion. We haven't had him in the whole of oh the series Lord. season three on any region. Oh, okay. Please give us a Fennec as well, and then Daniel will leave in disgust. <laughs> I thought we were going to have a very furry match. I don't want you to leave, Daniel. Don't get me wrong. Uh, Slims, L'Oreal have come in for Sleepy Team, and just to lock this down, then Violet and Malak will complete things for a somewhat different Nova lineup. Actually, really kind of ooh, to Batman hover. I really is this kind of like this because this is going to be a sideline Slims. Yeah, it's... Um, and don't get too mad at me. No. <laughs> but I, I value our friendship greatly, Daniel. Uh -huh. um, wow, that was the most... Mm, go ahead, go ahead. Uh-huh, okay. I'm scared. I really kind of like the idea of a sideline Slims. Tell us why. I, I, I kind of do too, actually. <laughs> because Slims does uh, percent HP damage. The number one problem with Slims is that he tends to be a pretty slow jungle farm, which can be pretty easily punished. Uh, but if you put him in the sideline, that's a pretty quick farm, up, particularly with the teamy on the side. You also have one of the longest stuns in the game on the point and click of the Flying Spear. If they can combo that well, I think that's actually potentially a very good strength from the side lane. And I do just want to update, we did get Knight's uh, solo Q star at the Batman. It's not exactly point and click. It's, it's, kind, of a and it's kind of throw and hope they nice. dodge it. And the closer you are, the less of a stun it is. So you're kind of hoping that they run into it. And I don't think Nova's going to do that. But I do like what you're saying. I These days, I would actually prefer Slims in the side lane because he takes so long to get farmed up. He loses to every other jungler just because it takes him so long. And it takes him so long to have that impact on the game. If you could just sit him in the corner, have him farm up, like just take it easy, get all those, get the gold from the extra melee minions, and I think this will work a little bit better. I like this better, especially if Z is comfortable on it. Can he likes a sleep Yeah, I know. I know. I know. Is this your dad? Read the new tier list. Has okay. can Sleepy Team stay in this game long enough for Slims to be active? I'm not sure because they, they, on the other side, there is a Violet and that is pretty powerful as well. Let's find out. Sleepy team, not expected to win this best of two. Lost the first one in Nova. What about the second? They held in game number one. This is their chance to prove that wasn't a fluke. And Nova won that full mid aggression again. They're just going to go straight for the invade and Sleepy team are playing much more defensive. They anticipate the Nova dive and now they want to make something from it. Yeah, interesting that they don't, don't go for the counter invade, instead going for the defense here. It's not going to work out. And now they're going for the late invade. Has Coco leashed this? Yes, he has. That is already a bad start for Sleepy. And Nova, having cleaned out the enemy buff, now see an opportunity to punish this late invade. They'll come back beside and does not secure the buff. It will go to nine. Grizzly Q on the hit chase, though. 
Nova all come sweeping in. 09 does have the double stun from the Pooty Boots. That might have just bought his team safety, but it's a narrow thing as Vax comes through. 09 to safety. Knight barely behind Tower. Sleepy team will survive. A rare over aggression and miss Mike Macro here by Nova as they rotate five to the bottom, TJ, and now that allows Sleepy team to take their jungle. But they're already a step ahead, Daniel. They've got a counter invade as well. The Sage buff was reset, but it will be picked up. Or is Sleepy Team a step ahead of the step that they're ahead because they released the Sage column? <laughs> it's a counter invade of a step ahead that's countering the counter invade. <laughs> At the end of the day, they have even gold. That's all I could really do to show sure. you this. <laughs> <laughs> I do think Nova narrowly win it because they get a little bit more on the invades each time, but it's narrow and weird. By the way, amidst all of our confusion about the Slims pick, we do have a support Sephra on Grizzly Q. We've seen a lot from JJog on Team HQ over in the Thailand region now. Oh yeah, that is weird. But all right, I like it. Uh, support Sephra doesn't quite have the healing uh, and support utility of the support characters. But has a lot more damage and decent enough healing. Yeah, the healing, however, is lessened by playing support because you don't have the AP. It does scale on ability power, so that's not as good. But what she can do is continuously slow the entire team from huge range. The Abyssal Dragon will be in early focus. We said Sleepy Team won the early game last time, but were unable to do enough with it. They have a pretty good early game with Batman if they can make it work. And Renova, no interest in letting them win it this time as Knight's in trouble. Grizzly Q will chase him back. The buff was ripped out from underneath him. Yeah, it certainly was. They weren't able to get that stun on him either. The thing is, for Sleepy Team, Batman is the early game, but they do have late game for in the rest of their roster. Everyone else scales pretty well. And Knight can play the Batman uh, incredibly late game. He's, he, there was a while where he was the only Batman main on the European ladder and one of the best players on the European ladder. Right, and Batman is sometimes a little bit underestimated. He's not too bad. Has Grizzly Q overextended? He might have, but the rest of the team's here to save him. Oxy will take the front line, 09, with the stun ups. Now threatening Z with a water wall. Grizzly Q rushes forward. <laughs> the, the aggressive Sephiroth support is so amazing to see here from Grizzly Q, making those water walls work so well. They force Sleep Team to choose defending their tower or defending their jungle. Sleepy Team choose the tower, but it's already taken a ton of damage. So while we wait here, both these teams have very unusual team compositions. It's kind of hard to predict how this is going to end up. You, you think that Nova's going to be able to scrape it out, but this is uncharted territory for us here. How do you feel about uh, this consistent thing? I didn't ask you about it game one, but it did happen. How do you feel about Few pulling out the Leviathan from sideline? It does allow him to get lots of HP. Love to see if it pays off. Vico in trouble. Teamy did get the being a bro resurrect off. Sleepy team do survive the fight, but they didn't get enough before the resurrect, which means they really ought to have bailed. Z will be knocked very low. The Riki shot doesn't land. The flicker, he gets out. And now Oxy's oh, in nine. trouble. He will be able to survive, but only narrowly. Grizzly Q and the rest of the team want to push forward, take advantage of what they found, and they do. The tower will fall. Nova, the absolute masters of taking advantage of low members as they go in and take out the tower. They don't even care that they didn't get a kill because all they want is that structural advantage. They know Knight's here. Sidon says, hello, and now they want more. Grizzly Q will make sure he doesn't get away scot-free. A little bit of extra damage onto him. So good with those water walls. Just so skilled. It's very hard to land those, and it seems like he has a homing missile on them. Yeah, when I watch the pros land water walls, I think, oh, it's the easiest thing in the world. But <laughs> I'm actually playing Sephira. I don't get any stuns. Yeah, it took me about 60 games to start to land those. It's pretty difficult. <laughs> Uh, it's a very narrow band, and you not only have to understand your movement perfectly, but you have to predict your opponents. Yeah, and also the extra movement speed that you get from it, as well as the slowing from those those water spirits, which typically messes around with your timing a little bit. Let's see, rotating up to top lane. How do you feel about that? He just wants to get farm as where as anywhere he can. It seems like Hugh is having a difficult time dealing with him, and perhaps this was because Hugh had to go back oh. to base in order to deal with that. Z saying, I see you, Coco. Don't think you can get away with that. Spirit Sentinel will be gotten away with, though. 09 unable to steal it. We'll go over to Coco. Bring in the Fiend coming out for both of these players, or excuse me, by both players, I mean Sephira and the team. Oh, bring in the Fiend, Sephira. That's actually terrifying. Yeah, very, very quick. And maybe go towards that, that uh, 80, 800 movement speed. 
Grizzly Q up top, pressing against Sleepy Team and O9 down bottom. There's also a brawl underway. Knight will fight Oxy up top. With O9 and Z taking the frontline damage for a lot of sustain, Few is very low in the bottom lane. He's finally gone down. Can Vico turn it? Not quite. The blink from Smite, it doesn't get him there, but it does get him a tower. The fight continues up top in the meantime. As O9 and Z are forced to fall back, Nova want revenge, and they've got Vex, the tower killer, the trebuchet himself, to come in. The shock lands, Grizzly Q dives, O9 and Z have to cede control. Beautiful aggression there from Oxy and Grizzly Q being so far, far forward with that double flicker forward. But uh, they're still suffering over here, and Bot Fico taking on two. Knight dives in, though. He's got Vex low. The heals are perfect. Knight will get the Batarang plant, though, for the kill. Z needs to flee. Otherwise, it could be two for one. There's the Batarang for the slow. The water wall does land. Fuse there to stall. Grizzly Q's down, but he gets Z with a water spirit. Z, why have you done that? He turns around. <laughs> and meanwhile, Knight gets away with just one HP. This has been such a back end for the game. So ridiculous. But at the end of the day, somehow Nova managed to scrape out a goal lead again. I don't know how they do this. I'm really upset with Z there. That kill was guaranteed, and he just wandered back into range of the water spirits. Yeah, sometimes you don't know where the water spirits are going to land, so. On your forehead. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell Z that next time you them okay I'll, I'll make a note oh, nine. <laughs> uh, I think though the hero of that fight alongside few with his timely arrival not even using an angelic splendor they did get a kill onto Vex but it was balanced out by their own uh, major source of damage Z going down in the fight Knight starting to hit the end of his assassination reign though and there's there's so much fighting going on in this game as exemplified by this Coco called out does land the death's embrace meaning few can't chase Knight, though, is more than enough to secure that kill. In the meantime, the rest of Nova take advantage of the Brawl, though, to focus down this Abyssal Dragon. Can they get it, though? They have members of Sleepy Team in the vicinity. Will they react? No, they just want the tower in mid. You can see the push forward for that from Fico. The response there from Poseidon. Not really enough. Fico doesn't get the tower by the looks of things. Knight's up top taking it. The full push through in mid does mean that Nova Esports have complete control, but Knight will get the tower. This is uh, probably the sloppiest we've seen Nova in a little while, and Sleepy's doing a really good job of forcing that out. I think this is better than we saw from last game. I think this is the closest that a team has kept Nova up until this point, especially because Sleepy team this time don't necessarily have an early game composition. Yeah, they've forced Nova to kind of brawl it out, and you can see that tower that Fico was pushing forward rather than taking the Abyssal. Look at how low it is. Anyone yeah. can convert that. Yeah, at any point. Coco gets a little bit greedy as well. He lingers forward. Now the full team's on his back. That's actually all five players. They will get Coco at what cost? They focus down the Dark Slayer immediately. Nova sent Grizzly Q to check for this. Him and Poseidon do confirm that's a full team roster. They'll brawl around it while the push comes through on the bot lane tower. That is the Angelic Splendor through. To make sure Fico has the hold, they abandon Dark Slayer and the bot lane will be pushed down. Vex and Oxy will get this tower and potentially a high ground if left to their own business. I think that's a mistake by Sleepy. I think they should have gone for the Dark Slayer because this, they saw in the bottom lane that they were there. Yeah, the high ground will be denied, though, and that potentially could have been picked up if the Dark Slayer had been focused. I think they could have just focused down even faster. It was extremely low, and the members of Nova were just there to scare them off. I think they could have called their bluff. Sleepy team, perhaps their inexperience relative to Nova showing is the uh, two-time European champions do walk away. That tower taken down bottom. Take a look at the Slim's build for a moment here. Because he can't go Scorching Wind, he does go for the Blitzblade instead. Already has that Clavis Sancti to his name, so he will be doing significant damage from now on. Yeah, that gives him a lot of uh, attack spam, which is very good because then the crit chance is high, and it works with his ultimate, which gives him percent of enemies HP damage. And he's building into that Bull Slaughter right now as well, so that will give him even more crit chance, up to 45% once he picks it up. Here's the Abyssal Dragon up for grabs for Nova. Should they grab this, it would mean their gold lead builds. Right now, it's within a 1,000. What is Enraged? Oh, can't test it, the Enraged. It'll also probably give them a fight. Oh, Vico and the rest of the Sleepy Team, they keep this Abyssal alive. They'll kite it out now. This is dangerous. They, is it still leashed? 
No, it did just reset. Coco, though, takes advantage of the distraction. And now, actually, the high ground might just fall. The recalls are coming through uh -oh. from Sleepy Team, but they're too late. Coco's got half HP on it already. That cannot be undone. He'll likely just keep focusing down the tower. Death's Embrace is finally forced. He's pinned down underneath the tower, but will get to safety. Sleepy Team now in trouble in mid. Poseidon dive forward, but the wave clear was again narrowly secured. Nova going back to their ways of running around their opponent, and Sleepy Team is having a tough time keeping up. It is worth noting, though, Sleepy Team have forced Nova to play this seriously. Exactly. They're doing a great job thus far, but now if they give up this Rage of Missile Dragon, they're going to fall behind once more. They're trying to push forward to contest. Night will arrive, but too little, too late. In range to Bissell, Dark Blessing, and the rest over to Nova. So much action on the field, TJ, and we didn't notice that. Look at the tower situation for Sleepy Team. There's nothing there. Yeah. You can see that low HP on the top tower secured by Coco. He just stayed there and brawled for so long until his wave was cleared. They're down to the high ground of bot lane as well. All those have come as necessary sacrifices for other pressure, mm. and that's what Nova forced you to do. They force you to bargain with your towers. Sure, you can win this fight. We'll take your high grounds. Exactly, and that tower is so low that they don't even need minions to take it down. All they need to do is push up there and have Vex shoot at it with tactical fire, and they think they might go for it now, actually. Yeah, they've got the full team here to do it. Grizzly Q to lead the way. Sleepy team don't realize it's the happening. There's the Ring of the Fiend to ensure Grizzly Q can get underneath and attack, oh! and Vex will just remove it. <laughs> so beautiful. Now 09 falls back. That's the high ground cracked, meaning super minions come through, and you can see Sleepy team reacted. They tried to rotate players over to defend it. That means they'll lose the tower in mid as well. Nova running around in circles at the moment. Vico trying to get some damage back, but he is the one getting damage instead. Nova, yeah, they're winning, but this is also some world champion of form they're being forced to put on. Yeah, absolutely. They need to pull out all the stops here to take all the towers in as cheeky manner or cheek fashion as possible. 09 does have the resurrect active. They'll be back shortly, and immediately they try and punish. The shot comes through. Do they get the kill? No! Oh, nine to safety, but Poseidon strikes true. Two kills. D and Fico both deleted, and that might be enough to end the game as he dives even further forward. Fuse in a lot of trouble. They will catch him. And Nova Esports approach the core. Good night, Moon. Good night, Stars. <laughs> Good night, Sleepy Team, as Nova look for all the extra kills and the 2 0 in the series. Nova turns a tiny mistake from Sleepy Team into the game ending there on the spot. You cannot make a single mistake because you will get punished. That's it, isn't it? That feels like it. It feels like both of those games in this best of two series have had Sleepy Team do 